Hi Suri. Excellent stuff. Really good. Really um, excited to look at this shoot that you did. Really good. Really good. Okay, let's jump in. You wrote me an email. You wrote, hi, just a few things I want to know about. I realized shooting on a fast shutter speed required me to up the ISO to the max, which resulted in not the best looking images. What is the solution for that? Do I need to acquire more equipment such as a flush? I think then a flash, etc. Um, so the the tr look you're bound in photography you're bound by physics you're bound by the amount of light if you only have a little bit of light if the light levels are low if you use a quick shutter speed then you will end up with a dark picture unless you compensate with giving yourself a very wide aperture and a wide ISO first thing the, the rules you're in class six yeah? is that correct yeah class six so you've learned the rules yeah the rules are aperture widest shutter speed quickish ISO lowish Okay, those are the rules. So we know always your aperture should be the widest, meaning the widest as in you still need to make sure that you keep your subjects all in focus. So you can't be using like 1.8 if you've got a whole big group of people because you're not going to have enough depth of field and you can't have out of focus subjects. Okay, so widest means obviously making sure that you have enough depth of field to keep all your subjects in focus. That's your aperture. Shutter speed is quickish which means a 200th of a second shooting at lower than at slower than a 200th of a second you very much risk camera shake a 60th of a second in my opinion is too slow and definitely anything below that is unacceptable and ISO is lowish let me just see what camera you have you have a T6 okay so you, you have to be careful with your ISO probably with your camera 1600 is not quite, uh, not bad not bad one second let's see if there's any others here 400 400 6400 yeah that is revolting yep 6400 for sure doesn't cut it um 1600 on the other hand is not a disaster you have a terrible lens I don't know if it's you that I've been telling, but you, you should go out and buy the 50 millimeter 1.8. It's about $100. It's really not expensive. And it is such a massive improvement. Right now, I'll tell you, in regards to your question here, we're all tied together now. Um, what is the solution for that? When I was using a quick aperture, when I was using a quick shutter speed, I had to use a high ISO, which, which you said it very nicely, which resulted in not the best looking images. I used the word revolting. But anyway, what is the solution for that? Do I need to acquire more equipment such as a flash? No, although a flash is a whole different world. We're not learning about flash right now. It's literally a whole different world. But what you could invest in is a quicker lens, which means if you were to shoot, let's say, for example, if you were to buy yourself the uh, 1.8 lens, now, right now, you're at 4.5, yeah? So, 4.5, let me, I'm going to do the math for you. It goes 4.5, 4, 3.5, 3.2, 2.8, 2.5, 3.5, 3.2, 2.8, 3.5, 3.2, 2.8, 3.5, 3.2, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5,
The focusing system is really dependent on your camera, not so much on the lens. The difference of the lens is that if you get a, a wider uh, aperture lens, which is called a faster lens, it allows more light in and the camera can have an easier time getting the focus. But you, I mean, if you're serious about taking this forward and going forward, you do need to invest in a new camera and you for sure need to invest in a new lens. The lens that you have right now is great for like, like holding open a door or like if you're in a windy room to stop like uh, to stop papers flying around you can use it as a weight it's so bad it's the worst lens in the world literally i'm sorry to say that but it's literally this 18 55 millimeter kit lens is the worst lens you're able to get and you you just it's just such a no-brainer first things first buy that 50 millimeter 1.8 and you will see an explosion in your photography. I promise you, you'll be so grateful to me. I promise you, go and buy it. Just, in fact, turn the computer off right now and just go and buy it. Anyway, so that I recommend in regards to the equipment, that is the best thing to do right now. Let's look now at what you've done. Um, we're gonna forget about the Ichi ISO, okay? What you've done is, is good. You are in manual, so what you've done is good. You're still a little bit underexposed, but let's just have a look here. I'm assuming this is your husband. Um, you've missed the focus. This is the problem. Please try this again. Oh, wow. Your focus, if you see here, is actually on the, the bamboo fence at the back. So he's actually become out of focus. You need some, I, so in regards to this, I don't even know if you're actually in uh, AI servo. I can't see that from these stats over here. I cannot see that from over here. No, I cannot see if you were in AI server or not. If you were in AI servo, it doesn't matter because your focus point was not on this man here. Your focus point was on the fence in the back, which means, and the fence didn't move to you either way. So it didn't make a difference what, what, uh, what focusing system you're in. Try it again and do it also, do it at a better time of day when there's more light. Do it when there's more light. Do it when there's much more light. This already looks like it's... Uh, the day is coming to a close. The light levels are very low. Um, uh, yeah, so try it when there's more light. Like I said, get that new lens. That's going to make a big difference. But do it when there's more light so you don't have to be using 6400 ISO. And be more careful. And try. Try a little bit harder. Do it again. Don't, don't like, look at this on the pit, on the computer. And don't be, don't be, um, what's the word? Don't be satisfied with something that isn't great. If it's worth doing... It's worth doing it in style and, and go out and do it again. This is, you, you know, you've invested in the course, you pay money for the course, you might as well fly with it, yeah? So um, try again, try again. You can re-upload these pictures for next week, uh, but do like I said, if you can buy the new lens, that's a no-brainer. Do it at a time when there's more light and make sure you do it. So make sure that when you've taken the picture, that it's sometimes difficult to see on the actual camera to see that you just missed the focus. You can see the focus is off here and the focus is over here. Sometimes it's difficult to see in camera because it's small on the back of the screen. Um, but it's not such a big deal to go out and do it again. So that's my that's my recommendation. Okay, now in regards to a in regards to the white balance here, there's a, this is AWB. The pictures are very underexposed. Um, cloud shade cloud sun. Let's put this over here. So now your camera excellent wait this is shade perfect so your camera has demonstrated clearly the whole concept of white balance remember the law of white balance is um default is sun if it is too bluey that happens regularly go to cloud and if in sun it is too um, warm that happens irregularly go to awb that's basically the rule so now if we look here awb is cool you move to sun, it's a little bit warmer. Move to cloud, it's warmer still. And move to shade, it's warmer still. So this is perfectly demonstrated. AWB is the coolest, getting warmer, getting warmer, getting warmer. Good. Okay, the issue here is that you are at, uh, you, there's just not enough light here. It's too late in the day. It's just too late in the day. Um, I don't, I think your clock is out because if you're in Israel right now, at 6.26, there should be more light than there is here. So I think this is probably later than that. Um, but anyway, it's too, it's 
you're not it's just too dark for your lens at 5.6 it's just too dark um, to be quicker than the 1,000 uh, 1 200 of a second is not a good idea so again go out and buy the other lens um, or do it at a time of day when there's more light knocking around okay but Baruch Hashem this was well demonstrated we did demonstrate it well okay um, in regards to one second I'm sorry, I have to give you, I have to be a little bit starker here. I can just see, I see the whole thing, the whole homework exercise took, this was 624 and 48 seconds. And then we have this took 626 and then this picture was 632. So the whole thing took like eight minutes. Um, it's, it needed to be, there needed to be more time spent on the homework. Sorry, but I said it. it needs to be more time spent on the homework. Okay, um, in regards to this image being best in RAW, I agree with you. Yep, this picture would be better in RAW. Um, you can see that you have a high, you have high highlights, and you have deep shadows. So in this picture, we've got it's basically a silhouette. So if you wanted to open up the shadows here. Um, JPEG would not cut that for you. This is too dark for JPEG to help you, I think. Um, and this is perfect. This is basically a perfect example of a raw, um, of an image that for, should for sure be shot in raw. Okay, good one. Okay. Oh, you do have the lens. You have this lens. Oh, what a stupid idiot I am. I've just been. Look at, this. <laughs> Look at the difference in these pictures. So you have it. You have the uh, 1.8. Oh no! I kept telling you to go and buy a new lens, and you've got it. Okay. Anyway, so you can scrap all of that one I just said because you have it already. Uh, but you should have been using it for the other homeworks. Maybe you bought it. One second. No, these were even taken. This was taken two weeks earlier. So anyway, I'm confused. Um, I don't know why you weren't using that lens for these pictures. But anyway, you should have been. Okay, let's look at these shells. These are great. This is excellent. This is really, really lovely. We've got a lovely rim light on on the uh, on the lady looking at. I'm assuming it's her husband. Um, you've edited it. We need we need more room. We need more room around here. You're shooting at 2.8. Um, you could be potentially wider than that. Because your camera, because you have a crop frame camera, the depth of field isn't crazy shallow. So you could be using a slightly wider aperture. Um, and I would also crop a little bit here and leave a little bit more room here. You're in class six, so you've just learned the rules of background. Is that in class seven? One second. One second. Class seven. Oh no, so class seven, you're going to learn next week, you're going to learn the rules of um the back rules of background are comparable exposure different color okay this area here is not comparable exposure so all of the energy of this picture really seeps out through this this whole massive white splodge over here you've added in a vignette that it looks to me like you did this on picasa this doesn't look like a lightroom vignette and over here it becomes very kind of dirty i wouldn't I'm not so into that. I think the picture in general could be warmed up. Um, but the actual, the the, bent, the beautiful parts of this picture is beautiful. The girl has a lovely profile, which you've really, um, you've really pulled out using, uh, with the with the light coming in here. The focus is pretty good. It's not perfect, but pretty good. I think there's two options. Either your lens is a little dirty, um, or you've got, um, or this is flare coming in. I can't know that without seeing the lens. It looks like there's flare. This is also a splodge of flare. Uh, this is a really nice shot. I love the energy moving from here. We've got basically there's a picture of him and his wife is looking at him. So we've got this movement coming in constantly, um, which is great. Very good. Like I said, I'll just have a little bit more room over here. Maybe crop a drop up over here okay so this is nice this area here is a bit dead as in we've got movement coming this way okay so now there's nothing really doing over here so there's no real need for it so if if i was to be taking this picture i would probably be thinking of cropping something more like this you see so now we've actually got movement coming here 
our eye gets bored over here and comes back. Again, with your lens, you could be shooting at a little bit wider than 2.8. That would give you a slightly um, stronger separation between subject and background. Uh, but as it is, you've got a good, good, uh, good, uh, it's, uh, there's a good, um, um, what's the word? I just used it. There's a good separation between subject and background. Focus is not so sharp. Mm, it focuses a little bit forward, uh, but it's okay, it's acceptable. It's okay, it's acceptable. Oh, this is your no need in raw picture. Okay, so this is great. This is a this isn't even for your photo shoot. This really is a great example of no need in raw. Um, excellent. As we've got we've got comparable exposures for full band background, there really is no need to shoot this in raw. The white balance also is great. Excellent. Okay, so we sort this picture. Okay, looking here. This is nice. I would like to see him looking at me right now. Um, I think uh, I, I think this would be better with him looking. I like the way you've used the tree. I love the colors in the background, but compositionally, um, it's a little bit too much. I feel the movement back into her. We don't have much. There's not much interest in looking at him. I would have him turn his shoulder out towards me. You've posed him nicely with his hand in his pocket. That's great. This is really good photography. This really is very good. Suri, this is excellent. You should be proud of yourself. If he just turned his shoulder out and just looking with his hand laid on the tree like that, that's great. Got a nice shape over here. Nice triangle here. Uh, the tree is being used primarily for posing as opposed to the actual graphical uh, value of the tree we can see the 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 this uh, beautiful green uh, the beautiful green leaves in the background are just worth so much more than this kind of hard brown tree texture so it could be better to maybe minimize this but it's a great place for him to rest his hand a good composition like I said I think it would be better if he was looking oh this is great as well this is really good okay the rule is are we allowed to cut off feet and hands and the answer is yes, we are allowed to cut our feet and hands. The question is, are we allowed to cut lines and shapes? The answer is no, we are not allowed to cut lines and shapes. This is a line, okay? We've got a movement here. We've also got a movement down here, doing. That's a mistake. His leg being cut off there is a mistake. What could really work, I don't know if he'd lose balance, if he was to put this leg up here, and then his knee would come up a little higher, that I think would fix that. The actual composite, we, should, we could also fix it in Lightroom as well. Um, or let's, let me just crop this a drop, let's see. This is great, demonstrating a lot of sensitivities here. Beautiful. I'm not sure if he's looking. Is he looking at us? I think he's just not looking at us. That would be really nice if he was looking at us. Um, the time of day is excellent. This arm is a little bit kind of random. It could be better if this arm was lying, was actually resting, that his hand was gripping this part here. That would create a triangle. I'd have to see that. I don't know. It could that it could be that it doesn't work that way. Um, or he could hug his wife, put his hand around her stomach over here. She looks relaxed. This is beautiful. One leg lower, one leg higher. Her arms are looking great. We've got a great triangle over here. This is great. This is this is commercially viable portrait photography. This photography is worth money. Okay. Um, stats are. When I say perfect, it's I still think you could get away with like 2.2 .2 with your camera. With my camera, these would be these would be perfect stats. 400 ISO, giving yourself a 640th of a second. Excellent, Sui. This is really excellent. Excellent. Great choice of background. Great separation between background and subject. Got nice light pouring on his head over here. Her hair is lit up nicely as well. Everyone looks relaxed. Like I said, if he was looking straight into the camera, I think that would add a bit. Uh, but great stuff. Okay. Good. Um, not sure about the hand being over there. Um, too much space up here. Here I would probably have his arm coming out like this. I don't know if they'd like that picture like to be knocking around. I don't know. Um, but this arm 
to be out a little bit more I think would help she's very relaxed she obviously has a lot she has what's called a high PQ which means she knows how to pose herself the light is great I mean you're in the same place the exact same place as over here so you've made use which is excellent you've made use of another pose in the same place this is great drop down a little bit cut off a little bit here keep a little bit more room over here um, also a little bit more room there's like a a slight scraper I just scrapes the edge of the canvas just over here it's very slight um, but the actual composition the pose the pose is great this is great got another shape over here which echoes the the bigger shape excellent great shot great shot okay um, so here's your flash has gone off a second yeah flash has gone off um, so I can't I'm, I'm a big not fan of on camera flash um however uh, it, whatever it went off like this i'd be trying in this situation i'd probably be thinking more about getting silhouette pictures um the the composition i think you need a little bit more room it's a little close and i the although we've got this nice movement here and you've placed the sun nicely between them so we do have this like dynamic movement going backwards and forwards um there's no like mystery on the the, the flash is just flat um so it's allowed you to bring the color out of the sky which is fine which is great um but what i want so let me just have a look at your stats that's like 200 what is it 400 that's fine so your camera's limited you to a 200th of a second um compositionally i f i would probably be giving i would just be giving it more room um you can't zoom out because you're with your 50 millimeter but i would be stepping backwards and just giving just giving much more room <laughs> putting them i would i would center them i think i think i'd center them. you've got a nice shape over here um but I, this is the kind of picture that a photographer i mean it's a nice it's it is a nice moment between between them so that would make them happy and as a beginning photographer you would it's nice that you balance the light but i suppose my issue is just with flash that i'm so i'm so i'm like such a flash snob i suppose i'm thinking so much more about like lighting profiles if we brought the flash from around the side and from above and all that kind of stuff um so it's a little difficult to 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 um it's, it's just, when when flash is involved i'm using flash in such a different uh like way so it's a little bit difficult for me to to critique this image um but you haven't learned any flash so that's the thing when we're learning flash then you'll you'll understand what we're talking about okay so i would be giving it a little bit more room i like i like the um the uh the uh electric kind of dynamic feel between uh your couple there this is great I think which is my favorite of these pictures I think this is my favorite picture let's take this one into Lightroom not going to do really not going to do too much I think we're just going to soften a little bit and maybe warm up just warm up the background a teeny drop let's have a look I think one second I've got paintbrush here that I call my magic hour paintbrush it's going to be very intense but I'm going to drop it down for one second let's go to this oh the flow is already down so that's good I want to just I just want to go like romantic all the way like there's a lot of romance in this picture a lot of like soft kind of loving energy so i feel like by going soft and warm we are going to be adding a lot to this i think now i want to hone in on our subject now remember there's always two ways of doing that there is emphasizing our subject and then there's de-emphasizing everything else that now I want to brighten my subjects slightly let's add a little warmth to them it's too much let's just brighten them up a teeny little drop that's good and I think also I want to just 
cut out some of the lines that are hair a little bit. Put out the inside, just give them like a little glow there. I don't want to give too much to the legs because I want to keep our eye in over here. Drop the clarity a teeny little bit, I think. There we go. Let's have a look where we went from to. And then there's one thing that we can do. I do like that. It's nice. Uh, we can also add a... This is something that I like to do when you have a picture in this kind of situation where you've got a lot of space over here where you go to, I have already created, it's called the Magic Hour Radial. There we go. These are the stats of what I do here. I'm going to actually put it up a little bit more. Now we've got this like massive orb of light. A strong sunlight coming straight in. It really goes with this picture. I think that's a teeny drop too much. I think we'll do that. I said we weren't going to do a big edit. And we've actually done a huge edit. That's a big difference. Um, yeah. Okay, sweet. Excellent. Excellent stuff. I'm sorry again about that whole thing with the lens, where it seems that you went and bought the lens. But it would have helped you so much in the homework. I can't tell you. It would have helped you so much. Um, anyway, like I said, redo the running homeworks for next time and, and try, if it doesn't work out, do it again, try again and, um, great. Looking forward to seeing what you do for us next week. Okay. All the best.